On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be testing out the new Jack Outlaw aftermarket part for the Bass B. This turns it into a lever action rifle that increases its hip fire fire rate, damage, bullet velocity, and damage range at a cost to the fire rate while ADSing and aim down sight speed. Let's see if it's any good in zombies. Now, at the time I'm recording this, this weapon just came out, so I haven't really seen any gameplay of it besides a few clips of it in multiplayer, and it already looks like it's pretty strong. So maybe I'm already setting some unrealistic expectations for this gun, but I'm hoping it can kind of rival the damage of the XRK Stalker while having a faster fire rate. Let's see if this Hellhound likes it. You do not. Normally, the Bass B is already a pretty decent weapon, but now that we have this lever action rifle here, it's all built for hip fire, which honestly is mainly what I go for in zombies anyways. And like I mentioned in the intro, its hip fire rate is faster than when you ADS because you can see right here, I can hold down my fire button and it'll constantly shoot while hip firing. But oddly enough, when you aim down sight and shoot, it'll only shoot one regardless if I'm holding it down or not. So it's a little bit of a different quirk to this weapon, which hopefully has a trade-off of it being super strong. So, and so far against those tier one zombies, it's one-shotting. What about against these tier two? Not quite. What about a headshot? It's like a three-shot headshot, all hit fire. ADS also a three shot and one downside i'm starting to see with this already is that while you're plating up you can only shoot one bullet at a time because you're going to need your other hand to actually hit the lever on the gun so just be aware of that when you're using it and before we go ahead and upgrade our weapon with all this good stuff we got started away how is this doing against tier three zombies unpack a punched unupgraded there's a fully armored one and it is not really doing a whole lot Okay, so maybe right off the bat, damage isn't too crazy, but what about if we do some of this? What's it doing now? Okay, broke helmet immediately. Probably loosened it up. Doesn't seem to like going through armor as much, but once it's through that armor, these zombies are going down very easily. Like, this is only Pack-A-Punch 2, and it's doing very well against these Tier 3 zombies. You know, if my aim could actually connect with them. And let's go ahead and throw on mag of holding here so we don't have to reload at all. We got 393 bullets, but I did shoot a few. So let's go hit this ammo cache and see what the max amount of ammo we have is. 440, that's not terrible. Especially if this puts out some serious damage, we're gonna have a lot of ammo to work with. But before we fully dive into tier three, let's try out a tier two bounty and see where this is at damage wise. Oh, and it's a disciple, perfect. If this can handle the disciple, I'm confident it can handle anything. What's going on, disciple? And I actually hit your face. Broke mask in one shot. His health is draining fast. Oh, couldn't even start healing. He's dead. So far, so good. I'm liking it. It's fire rate ain't terrible. It's a little slow, but at least it's continuous while hip firing. Oh, and it's one shotting tier two zombies. Look at that. It's like constant insta kill unless they got armor. Now let's keep doing some bounties since this seems to tear through them pretty fast. Oh, a mimic. Can this handle being this up close to a mimic? Oh, so far it's grabbing us. Hold on. Yeah, it's just melting its health. It's gone. This seems like a, a very out of the, the box way to use a shotgun is what it's kind of feeling like. All right, one more bounty and we should be good to go test this in tier three. What's up, Mimic? Can I hit you from here? Oh, it's actually pretty decently accurate at range with hip fire, especially with Pack-A-Punch. Can't even let this thing get close to me. Ooh, Napalm Burst? I'll hold on to that. We'll switch to that after we try it against the Mega Bomb. All right, how's this doing against some tier three zombies? This is a fully armored. Oh, it's like a four shot kill. That's not bad. Probably kill faster without armor. Oh yeah, two shot without it. Now, how are we doing against this Mega Abomination? I'll wait for you to shoot your laser. Go for it, buddy. There you go. This decoy. Let's land some shots. Ooh, already broke his face. Not bad. I'm already dealing some pretty decent damage to him. He's almost at half health. Aether Shroud. Can't shoot while Aether Shrouding either. Need both hands. So Aether Shroud might not be the best for this. Oh, this is doing pretty decent. I have not ADS like once. The accuracy while hip firing is crazy. He's already close to death and we only broke one face. Oh, make that two. Yeah, there you go. Shoot that laser. It'll be the last laser you ever shoot. Night, night. That's not bad at all. Ooh. Can you hear the sweet sound of all the armor cracking on these zombies? This thing's good. I'm liking it. Let's see if we can get our hands on a tier three bounty. Oh, there's one all the way on the other side of the map. Tier three is crowded. We have to fight for this one. It's like Black Friday. Oh, I think they're going to get to it before I do. I'll have to wait around. Actually, you know what? While they're taking all the bounties over here, I'm going to go fight this guy. Stormcaller, where you at, buddy? Just want to introduce you to my new friend. Did somebody already kill him? I feel like we do this every time. No, there he is. I always just assume he's dead if I don't see him immediately. What's up, dude? Can I stop you from healing? Can I break your mask? 
The damage on him is already pretty decent. Not bad at all. Stop healing. Knock it off. Mask is close to broken, I think, unless it's already broken. I just haven't seen. But either way, his health's still going down like a decent amount. And for some reason, it's like the zombies are just ignoring me. I don't know what like new power I found using this, but the zombies are literally ignoring me. It's like I have constant Aether Shroud on. And the Stormcaller is already basically dead. Don't you fly away from me. Your fate's sealed. No life for you. Oh, nope. The zombies figured out who I am. Like, hold on. Wait a minute. This guy's not supposed to be here. And Stormcaller is dead. Let's go. That's not bad. We took him out pretty quickly. Our, our default gas mask still has some juice in it. Let's go ahead and throw our Napalm Burst on this from earlier. Let's try not to die here. Zombies, leave me alone. I want to grab a skull. Made it out of there with 4% left on this gas mask. All right, now we can go fight some people for some bounties. Right after we go ahead and pawn off this skull. That's going towards my perk fund. Hey, you know what? Let's do some charity service. We'll help these guys take out the mega bomb. We can just add them to the list of our mega bombs we've taken out. And he's dead. Night, night. I'll be taking that elemental pop. Uh, you know what? I will join. Probably gonna be the only way I get contracts here. And there's been some dude all game trying to get the whole lobby to fight the worm at the end of this match. So we can finish off this game fighting it. And if we're lucky enough to even get a contract here and even luckier to get a sigil, then we'll take it into the Dark Aether after. Oh, I almost died to fall damage trying to get this. There we go. We got one contract. It's not glamorous, but at least we'll be able to get rewards from it. Easy. What do we get from that? Oh, pack one crystal. You know what? That actually helps us. Let's throw that on our scorcher. Oh, and there's another contract right by us. Let's knock this out. Oh, we got a sigil. Let's go. Keeping the dream alive. Oh, wait. The storm's starting to move. We need to go get to the worm. Oh, let's upgrade our gas mask real quick. There we go. Let's grab another self-revive just in case. All right, we're coming. I'm gonna have to leave the squad. I'm sorry, guys. You're on your own. What's up, gentlemen? Nice weather for worm slaying. Now we play the waiting game. Oh, this is my long lost brother. G money? No way. There's so many people right here. Just look at the mini map. That's an insane amount of blue dots. Look at all these sentries that got set up too. This is just like when the worm first came out. Oh, here he comes. There he is. Light him up. Oh, and he's gone. Wow. This gun's busted. Did we get anything for that? Or he just insta disappear? They already went through and, and pillaged everything. Eh, I'll drop a schematic for anyone that needs it. There you go. I'll take the ray gun case with me. All right, well... Nice doing business with you. Now to the Dark Aether. Probably should have repaired my mask before I left because uh, now I'm just choking. All right, Dark Aether, let me in. Get me in there now before I choke to death in the storm. All right, let's go straight for the bounty. Let's see if this can take out our HVT Mega Bomb. All right, Abomination, your time has come. Just me and you. Yeah, shoot that laser. We should be able to take out this face pretty quickly. There we go, already gone. Let's throw another monkey bomb while we have a little bit of time. Okay, monkey bomb's gone now. Cashmere, your turn. Let's Aether Shroud and get some shots in. And now we got our decoys. Throw that. Already broke another face. Let's go. This is so weird because I feel like I'm in the most danger using this weapon with the, the whole not being able to armor and shoot at the same time. And just the amount that I'm going down with this. But it still does some crazy damage. It's a very weird weapon. Like we took him out and went down at the same time. Like that's just the best way to describe it. Mag of Holding? Nope. All right, on to the next. And one of the first times we came to the Dark Aether, I noticed this Wonder Fizz floating in the air right here. And I didn't even think about trying to go for the loose change until you guys were screaming at me about it. Let me see if I can get it. Can I lay down on it? Oh, you can get it. No way. All right, cool. In case you just needed 25 extra points in the Dark Aether for some reason. There you go. Let's start this up and see if we can survive. This weapon is actually so strong if you can hit domers. It gives some of the best zombie head. Like if I can just keep my crosshair here at head level, the zombies just drop like it's nothing. Oh, shit. I drop like it's nothing, too, if I'm not paying attention. How many self-revives do I have? Okay, so I have three more. I'm just clearing up inventory space for this eight mags of holding I'm about to get from this. And a legendary Aether tool. I'm manifesting. There we go. We completed it. Zombies die. Thank you. Oh, there's one mag of holding. All right. Well, they met us in the middle. All right. Last contract. Let's do it. We already did the first two in six minutes. That's actually pretty crazy. I threw a decoy. Zombies, if you could please honor the game and go to the decoy. Appreciate it. Made it through barely before it blew up. Gotta throw another decoy. Rocket number two. All done. Now we need to build up an Aether Shroud before we can do the next one, which should not be a problem for this gun. Actually, I can just use my Aether Blade. What am I doing? I always forget I have one of these. Oh, still got knocked though. 
There we go. We got our Aether Shroud. Let's use it. Nope. Animation stopped. So we might get knocked here at the end of this, but it's fine. We finished the contract. There we go. And Legendary Aether Tool. Nope. Epic. And another down. Add it to the list. I will take this VR11 with me. And that speed coal. Let's get out of here. With one self-revive to spare. Zombies, if you'll excuse me, I need to leave. Okay. All right. Good thing we did have that one last self-revive. So I need to go now. I'm out. Whew. So my overall review of the gun, it's pretty fun to use and it does some pretty decent damage, but the fire rate is just slow enough to kind of get you into some bad situations. I do like that it's very accurate hip firing because with me being pretty lazy and not wanting to ADS, it helps out a lot with that. And like I mentioned, it does do decent enough damage to where it can compete at tier three against bosses and zombies because some weapons are only good against bosses, not against zombies and vice versa. But this is kind of like the best of both worlds where you can take on both those things. I just wish the fire rate was a little bit faster hip firing. That way I could take out more things faster, but not a bad weapon. This is a fun aftermarket part. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.